Hey guys, welcome back to Okabode. Today I am talking about roosters. So I have six points, six things that you should know if you are thinking about keeping a rooster. Roosters get a pretty bad rep in the uh, chicken keeping world, so I'm here to talk about maybe the things that are why they deserve it and also reasons why they are not so deserving of the bad reputation all the time. Today is one of those really uncooperative weather days, so sorry about the lighting changes throughout this video. Number one, something to know about roosters, one reason why you might wanna consider keeping them is that they can guard against air predators. It's important to know that not all roosters are necessarily going to be great guardians. So one of those things where if you get one who is, that's great, uh, you also might get one who isn't, which won't be so great, but there's not always a way to tell from when they're baby chicks whether they're going to be good guardians or bad guardians. For our guardian, for our flock, we chose a Jersey Giant. Uh, I believe it's the largest chicken breed if not one of the largest but one reason is because just for pure deterrent factor he's a giant chicken and he is black which some people believe that black chickens deter air predators because air predators think they might be crows not sure how true that is or not but uh, we figured it was worth a try and so far i don't think we've had any air predator attack since we've had him so that's good news his name is Rambo and he is actually a perfect gentleman. So far, uh, he's about two years old now, I think, either one or two. But that kind of brings me to my next point, which is that roosters tend to be aggressive towards people, uh, not necessarily in a way where they're gonna like cause like serious life-threatening harm, but if you've ever had an aggressive rooster, you know they're just so not worth the space that they take up. I know, because we have three. They're actually not ours, they're our neighbors, but we kind of share chicken care with them. So we love Rambo, he's ours because he is a perfect gentleman, but the silky roosters are all total jerks and uh, they basically throw themselves at you, peck you and claw you and all that pretty much every time you go in there. But that's why there tend to be a lot of roosters that end up in the stew pot or the freezer. That literally, that light just changed in 0.3 seconds. Also, I'm not sure that it's necessarily a breed thing. I've seen aggressive roosters for uh, looking for free homes on Facebook all the time of all different breeds. I know people say buff Orpingtons are nicer. I've seen lots of aggressive buff Orpingtons online. So I wish I had a breed for you that was generally nice. Unfortunately, I do not know that if you have a rooster, there's a chance it might not be that nice. And even if it's nice in the beginning, I've heard sometimes they just flip a switch someday and decide to be jerks. So they're trying to protect their girls. Uh, I understand it, but especially if you're somebody who has kids, that's not necessarily something that's always okay. Kind of on that note, number three, training techniques for making nice roosters are pretty hard to come by. I've seen some YouTube videos that supposedly have uh, recommendations for training bad roosters. The only advice that I have to offer is that we have noticed the roosters in general that are handled less in our experience tend to be the nicer ones, which is I think because they have a little bit of fear of us and uh, they just would rather give us our space, we give them their space and that's been all good. In my experience, the, the chicks that we handled a lot growing up, they ended up being the jerks. Now, I don't know if that's true across the board. So if you have personal experience, please leave a comment below whether that theory applies to you or not. I'm definitely curious because our sample pool is very small. If you want, you can try looking up some online videos from what I've read, like I've read holding them upside down when they attack you, um, just kind of, I don't know, that's supposed to be a submission thing or just picking them up when they attack you. We have had no luck with those nasty silky roos, so I wish I had a technique that was good for training already mean roos, but maybe there is something out there that is uh, dependable, and if there is, please let us know in the comments below. Number four, this might seem like common knowledge, but it's good to know, roosters crow, uh, that means they obviously make that big cock-a-doodle-doo sound. And this is why most, or at least many, suburban areas don't allow the keeping of roosters. They tend to be loud. I know I'm the same way. I would prefer the crowing of a rooster as opposed to like dogs barking, but I mean, that's usually outlawed in most areas too, theoretically, so I get it. They do make something called crow collars that you can put on a rooster to prevent them from crowing. I don't think they're that humane personally. Uh, I think roosters like to crow and they're made to crow. Um, and basically from my understanding, the crow collars restrict their airflow so that they can't get enough air out at once to get a big crow out. So you have to decide whether that's humane or not. I mean, I guess if it's between that and getting butchered, 
you, you kind of got to do your own like soul searching there to make that decision. Again, I know it sounds like common knowledge, but know that uh, you can't really train a rooster not to crow and crow collars have mixed reviews in terms of efficacy anyways. So something to take into consideration. By the way, I don't know how many people know this, but a cockerel is an immature rooster, kind of like a pullet is an immature hen. So once hens are laying, uh, laying eggs, that's when they turn into hens. Before that, they're pullets, and cockerel is like the young rooster version of that. So not sure how many people knew that. Might be worth knowing when you're shopping. I have two more things to know about roosters for you. Number five, if you are gonna get a rooster, especially if you're used to just having a flock of hens and being lazy about egg collection like we used to be, know that there's a really good chance those eggs are fertilized and if you don't collect them every single day that uh, you may get partially developed eggs or you might get baby chicks if you wait long enough. If you don't have a rooster, you're not gonna get fertilized eggs unless a rooster makes it its way into your flock, which is not unheard of, especially out here in the country. But just know if you're adding a rooster to your flock, you're gonna wanna stay on top of that egg collection unless you want baby chicks, in which case uh, there's a good chance you can get baby chicks as long as one of your hens goes broody and takes care of them. Finally, the last thing that I want you to know if you were thinking about getting a rooster is that most roosters have spurs. So these are, are they spurs or talons? I think they're spurs. Leave a comment below if I'm using the wrong terminology. They're very long nails on the back of their legs. I guess insert Napoleon Dynamite quote here. Actually, some hens do have spurs too. We have a hen who has a spur on one leg. She's kind of a weird chicken, but she has a spur on one leg. Uh, fortunately, she is not at all aggressive, so not something we worry about. But if you have an aggressive rooster with spurs, they can do some serious damage. I have heard that you can buy like spur covers for them. I'll do some looking around and I'll see if I can link some of those for you below. Not sure how effective they are or not, but again, kind of one of those reasons where a gentleman rooster or a uh, kind rooster is worth his weight in gold, especially if he's a good flock protector because they can do some serious damage and uh, you don't wanna be the person holding a bucket in between you and your chickens every time you have to feed them. I know, cause I've been that person. But if you were not aware, definitely something to be careful of. Uh, exercise some caution with if you have a new rooster or around a new rooster and you are not sure how they're gonna act, that's probably where the most damage is gonna come from. So in summary, roosters are not all bad. They get a really bad reputation sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's deserved and sometimes it's not. They also serve some really important purposes in protecting the flock and maybe even helping grow the flock if that is your goal. Please leave a comment below if you keep a rooster or roosters in your flock and what your experience is with them, uh, especially if you have training tips because I have yet to find reliable training techniques with a large sample pool, but I, believe it's out there. I want to believe it's out there anyway. So please leave a comment if you have advice there. As always, I left all our chicken gear below for you. If you're not already following us on Instagram, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And if you like this video, you want to see more in the future, don't forget to hit subscribe. And as always, please leave a comment with what other chicken videos you would like to see. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.